Boxing Social here with Chris Congo. Chris, welcome yeah. back. Um, it's been a while since I've seen you personally. How's, how's life going? How's life treating you at this present time? Uh, all good, man. All good. Um, can't complain. Just doing what I have to do. Uh, staying busy, stay ticking over, but also knowing to give my body a rest as well. So, yeah, apart from that, I've been good, man. How's, how's the lockdown and everything treated you? How's, how's life been treating you through this crazy time? The lockdown was all right. Um, the main thing for me is just, like I said, keeping busy. So if I could do the if I could do the run, then I'll do the run here and there. You know what I mean? So always make sure I'm in the gym. So yes, yeah, it was sweet to be honest. I was all right. With it. Chris, I obviously contact you because I want to talk about yesterday's pay per view event on Sky Sports. Anthony mm-hmm. Joshua Kubrat Pulev. Before I talk about the main event, I want to talk about a fight that sort of interested you. Your name was being thrown about with Florian Marku um, a couple mm-hmm. of days before, and you put your name in the hat. Unfortunately, that fight didn't come into fruition. Um, but you went on to fight Jamie Stewart. It was called a draw. Uh, just talk to me about Florian's performance on the night. Uh, well, let's be honest. We do think he did, he did win the fight. But for me, obviously, I'm seeing a lot of people saying that. Um, I was sort of in and out of the fight because I was a bit busy at the time. Um, I, wa- I was watching the fight up until he-, he knocked him down. So I think it was the second round he knocked him down. Then I went off quickly. Um, just I just went off to do something quickly. But I would have thought already that the fight was done. Because he went down on one knee. I said, yeah, Florian probably going to finish him anyway. I come back and it was round four. Then I come back, it was round five. I was thinking, right, well, he has, still hasn't got him out of there yet. Um, and this guy took, took the fight four days notice. He must be a tough guy, you know? But looking at that performance, man, I don't think he should be, be even saying my name right now. I don't think he should be calling for anyone like me. He can't even call Conor Ben. You can't even call people like Josh Kelly, Michael McKinson. You can't call them names. Chris Congo. You can't call them names. If he's performing like that, boy, so imagine if I was in there four days notice, what I would have done. But that's, yes. that's how you need to see it. Think about that. Do you still want that fight, though? Uh, regardless of the draw, Florian Marcus, you know, signed up with Matchroom. He's got a big name in Albania, building his name here. Got a good management team behind him. Uh, seems mm-hmm. to be a lot of sort of traction and hype behind him at this present time. Is that a fight that you still want in 2021? Of course, but he has to keep on winning and he can't be performing like that. If he wants to fight me, he can't be performing like that because, he, boy, that fight wouldn't even go past four or five rounds. You know what I mean? That fight wouldn't even go past four or five rounds. All, all respect to Jamie Stewart as well. He come in four days notice and he put on a good fight. He put up a good fight. There was a lot of times where I was watching the fight and I was like, right, he's actually catching Florian with a few shots here and there. There was a few that Florian was tucking up with, but he kept it basic as well. Like his, his jab was, I think his jab was better than Florian. Florian was a friend of their jab, you know? You know? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, he, he done what he had to do on four days notice. I think he should be happy with the draw. We know that Florian's fought in MMA, uh, kickboxing, um, but he's he's only had a, you know a number of fights in professional ranks in boxing. Do you feel mm-hmm. like he, he's still got a little way to go before, like you said, probably fight uh, the the bigger names like Josh Kelly and and them boys and even yourself? Yeah, he's got he's got a long way to go. Just remember, this is boxing. This is not kickboxing. This is not MMA. It don't matter what he done before. He can't box. You know, this is this is a different this is a different sport. So when you look at people like Conor McGregor versus Floyd, you see that already. You see the difference. I don't know how people had they thought Conor McGregor was gonna come and beat Floyd. People are people are crazy for that. You know. So same goes to him as well. It don't matter if you do MMA, if you done kickboxing, you use a world champion in kickboxing. You was a world champion in kickboxing. It doesn't mean you're gonna come into boxing and be a world champion. I'm just going to move away and talk about the main event. Anthony Joshua versus Kubrat Pulev. Uh, AJ mm-hmm. performed on the night, knocked Pulev out in the ninth round. Um, I've dropped him a couple of times uh, before that. What, what, what did you make of AJ's performance on the night? I think it was a good performance. Um, 
I, I was expecting a lot more from AJ in terms of uh, get, like he should have got the stoppage a lot earlier. Pulev wasn't working at times, and I feel like AJ switched off at times in there as well. Should have been a lot, should have been a lot smarter as well, just with the fades and fading. So if you look at Pulev against um, Klitschko, Klitschko was fading to the body, coming over to the top. You know what I mean? And that's he, he knocked him out with, with the left hook, which I thought Joshua was going to do as well. But um, at the end of the day, he knocked him out in the ninth round, so he got the win. Did you feel like, uh, well, when I look online and I look at people's opinions in regards to the, in regards to the fight, they said that AJ was using the jab well initially at the start of the fight, but then there was times where he just stopped using the jab and let Kubla Pula come into range. Is that what you're referring to when you said AJ switched off? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I could see that. Um, I think as well, I, I, I really, I haven't really seen any of, um, I haven't seen any, I haven't watched it back any of the highlights or what anyone said about it. Um, but it was weird. Like AJ, it's like he wanted to box, but he was he was he was he was working at long range, then going mid to short. When he should have stayed mid to short range, because that's where he had a lot of his success with the uppercuts. You know what I mean? The jab to the body and stuff. So he should. I think he should have stayed working at mid to short range. But even at long range, he could just work on his jab, which he was pinging. He was pinging through them off easy with the jab. Before the fight, AJ said he's going to bring back his killer instincts. Like we saw in the Ruiz fight, the second Ruiz fight, he was on the back four. You know, he boxed well, boxed clever, got the win. In the first Ruiz fight, obviously, for obvious reasons, he lost that. Uh, but we saw uh, that, that killer instincts again where, you know, AJ's got the power. We know AJ is probably one of the most powerful fighters uh, in the world in regards to the heavyweight division. Um, and we, he showed it last time when he got into the, when he started letting off his shots and connecting. Even though Pulev's a tough, tough opponent, AJ showed his power on the night. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. We all know AJ is one of the strongest guys um, in the division. Um, but like I said before, uh, if if AJ boxed Pulev again, I think that fight wouldn't go past four rounds. If, I know he will learn from his mistakes. I know there was a few times this was up, but I just think that that fight will go past four rounds. The boxing. Then the, the, the question I've got to ask, and I'm probably going to ask a lot of people today, is uh, the, the fight that's been touted for 2021 is that big fight with Tyson Fury. Going off what you saw last night, do you believe AJ can beat Tyson Fury? Who do you see winning that fight? I believe AJ can beat Tyson Fury. He's got to be a lot smarter. Um, Boxing against someone like Fury, not falling for um, Fury's fates, um, staying close to him, staying close to Fury, um, and I think for me, if, if AJ does does them things and not not switches off, don't switch off, moves his head, comes into range with Fury, work, works in body to head, then I think he beats Fury. Cool, Chris. I want to thank you to you know for, talk to myself, but. Tell me, uh, what's the ideal situation for yourself in 2021? Where do you want to be by the end of 2021? Um, I want to be on a, on, a, on a fringe of European slash world level at the end of 2021. So I want to, I want to box some top guys next year and see, see how that goes. But yeah, I want, I want some, some good fights next year, man. Cool. Chris, listen, it's always a pleasure talking to yourself. Have a great Christmas. Um, <laughs> And boxing is going to be shut off after next weekend. Actually, before I let you go, I've just realised on the weekend we've got one massive fight before boxing turns off for a little bit. Callum Smith, Canelo, give me your prediction on that. That's a good fight. I think people are writing off Callum Smith, you know. Mm. I, don't, I don't think I'm writing Callum Smith off in this one. Um, we've all seen Canelo. He kind of struggles with the taller, taller man and the big guys. Um, he walks them down. But he struggles with them, you know, and, and, and Callum Smith is a good long-range puncher. And uh, if, if, if Canelo throws and, and he doesn't move his head on his way out, he's going to get clipped. And we all know Callum Smith's good at that. So, um, yeah, I think it's a good fight. Uh, but if, if, um, if Callum Smith allows Canelo to, to close the distance... Then Canelo, then Canelo will win on points. But I think he's going to go to points, I believe. But um, I don't know. I'm stuck in between the two. Cool. Chris, thank you very much for joining me. And no doubt in 2021, we'll speak then, mate. Have a good one. Cool. Cheers, bro. Take care. Take care. <laughs>